There may be snow on the ground at Lowell Asher Park, but there is optimism in the UMass Lowell baseball locker room. A new season is just a couple of days away. A four-game series against Canisius at a neutral site in Holly Springs, North Carolina, gets things rolling on Friday. This Riverhawk baseball team that finished in fourth place with a 12-12 record in America East play a year ago is looking to take the next step in the program's growth and development. With new blood and added experience, it is a team with high hopes, their eyes focused on success at the conference tournament in May. We're a new group, obviously, with 14 freshmen. I think we're a heck of a lot more athletic than we've been in the past. I think, uh, judging from the fall, our at-bats were much more disciplined, uh, less swinging out of the strike zone, uh, deeper on the mound. I think we're young. I think, um, I think we have the ability to shock people this year. And I think it's good. I think we're going to surprise a lot of people. So, I think we're very complete. I think we have a lot of really good table setters. I think we have a lot of guys that can hit the ball over the fence, and a lot of guys that are comfortable with the type of hitter that they are. Uh, they know that they all have a role in the lineup, and the situation will be dictated by what's happening in front of them. But uh, we are a more complete lineup, and again, based on what we saw in the fall, our walks and hit by pitches, we are one to one with strikeouts, and that's something that we're striving, to, uh, striving for. Uh, the winning team in this conference has had a 370 on base percentage as a team or above. We were at 345 last year. We feel with this new lineup that we can achieve that goal and put ourselves at the upper echelon with the offenses in this league. I was very sporadic. I still am a bit, but I think I've tuned it a lot together and being around the college baseball game for four plus years playing summer baseball. I've Put a lot of the pieces together and hopefully we can make it work this year. You know, we gave too many at bats away. We've given too many at bats away and you know guys are you know, I think that finally some of the guys that have been around a while understand that getting on base is how you win baseball games. So by any means necessary that's what we're gonna do. I'm just try to be on time, see their fastball and uh, just destroy their best pitch, honestly. They they serve it up, I try and serve it back to them. I think I have the potential to be a power hitter, but for the most part I just try and get the job done. My general approach, I changed a lot this summer. I've focused more towards just barrels. If you see the ball, hit the ball as hard as you can, square on the knob, and let the game take the rest of it, because I think I hit the ball hard enough to make something happen throughout the game, so. I mean, we have 14 freshmen, we have three transfers now, and I think that's great because it brings a big challenging aspect, and they push us, we push them. It's kind of, not a headbutting match, but it's a, it's a good headbutting match. It's, everyone works hard, everyone makes everyone grind a little bit harder. Work for their spots. We have a lot of different kind of arms. Like last year, I felt like we were um, kind of all similar, similar type of arms. But I think teams are going to see different types of dudes coming out of bullpens on the weekend. So I think just the, the versatility is going to be huge this year, catching them. You know, we've got a, a healthy Colin Duffley back. We've got a John Polichetti that will be back. Um, and those two guys that are veterans that have been around are going to really help us. And you know, Henry Finaro obviously had a, a tough beginning of last season, figured some stuff out at the back end, was good, and then went away for the summer and had a tremendous summer and is now back being a prospect in New England. Uh, Connor Matelski is a senior that's given us some pretty good efforts here and there. Uh, but some of the freshmen we brought in are just going to help stabilize you know, the back end of our bullpen. And when you got a guy like Josh Becker returning who had tremendous success, we're not going to have to use him for 50 innings like we did last year. We think some of the other guys will be able to kind of stem the tide until we get to him at the back end. I'm just trying to do everything I can to help the team win that game, whatever it takes. However many pitches I got to throw, whatever I got to do to help us have a chance to win that game, that's what I'm trying to do. Tons of confidence in myself. Went away this summer, got, got a lot of confidence back. I feel like I'm ready to go, ready to help our team win games. I know a lot more about myself now. I, I, under, I learned from my failures and it's made me into who I am today. I've had success since the summer and I'm ready to go. I feel like I understand myself as a pitcher, what I need to do now to help us win games. I think we've got good veteran leadership and we've had, they've had to mold 14 freshmen and two transfers. Uh, and they've done a really good job of bringing them and making them feel at home and equal to who they are. And uh, they understand how important they are to the, the success of this team. With that many, there's going to be a, a bunch that get significant time. And uh, I think those, the veterans are excited for the freshmen to show what they can do to the rest of the uh, college community here. The key is just mesh together like we have. I think the biggest part is being a family. You know, just everyone coming together as one. And, if one guy's down, the other person steps right up and does their job just as good as they can, if not better. Yeah, these guys are awesome. Everyone's always laughing, smiling. It's good. It's good stuff. Does that make a difference? 
I think it does. I think it makes it easier. I think it makes it makes it easier on the 16, 17 new guys that are here. Kind of let them relax and just do their job. I think it helps everyone. I think we have a lot of fun. I think everyone vibes well. There's no bad eggs. Everyone gets along really well, and we bond together good as a team too. Just in the locker room, off the field. It's very does good. That matter? It does. It does. Yes. When you're willing to go to battle and war with your teammates, and there's no one interfering, you don't have any bad friends or bad egos, it's great. Everyone works easier, fluidly, much better. The end goal is always national championship, but first it starts with winning the America East. We want to win the regular season, and then we want to go to that tournament. We get to play at home this year in the tournament, so we want to go win that, go to a regional, and keep going from there. So we get to play you know, a conference tournament in our home ballpark where we're comfortable, a bigger ballpark, not, you know, not a homer dome. Uh, I think it fits to kind of what the type of team that we are. Um, but it's always it's going to be nice to play in front of the home crowd, and we're, you know we're really looking forward to that, and, and the guys are too. We got to get there first. Definitely playing in front of a hometown crowd. I think it's huge. Just got to get to that spot, and then uh, I think once we start playing in front of them, it's going to be game over. Might as well get our ring size now. These guys are anxious and ready to prove at the beginning of the season that last season was a fluke, and that we're that we're back, and we're the team that we should be.